Hello. For this problem, um, you can use in chapter 9, they have hypothesis for a mean and hypothesis for a proportion. Um, it, both excels here. I'll show you where it's at. So under chapter 9, um, there's these two Excel files. And the one that you had a question on was a mean, so I used that one, and this comes up. Uh. And then to solve the problem, it says test the claim that the mean GPA of night students is smaller than 2.4 at a 0 0.05 significance level. So smaller than 2.4, this first one's greater than, and your null hypothesis is always equal to. In this case, it should be equal to 2.4, so that makes this one out. This one's equal to 2.4, and it's testing less than, which is what this said smaller, so it would be this one. Right there. When it's pointing to the left, it's a left tail, so it should have been left tail, not right. Um, greater than would be a right tail. And um, two tail is not equal to. So if it's not equal to, it's this one. A left tail is less than, and a right tail is greater than. So this is a left tail. Now to find the p-value and the significance level, we use the table. N is the sample size, and it's based on a sample of 30 people, so N is 30. The population mean, that comes from the null hypothesis, which was the 2.4. Um, sample mean came from the sample, and it was down here, 2.36. Standard deviation, 0.1. And alpha is your significance level, which was up here, 0.05. And hit enter. It gives you a T value if you needed it. Now, this was a, over here, look at three, three tail, oh, three tail, left tail. So if it's the P value is a left tail, then um, P is 0 0.018, and that's where they got this. The significance level was given up here. Now right here will help you decide reject or, or not to reject. It says if the P value is less than alpha, so this is our P value and this is alpha, and notice 0.018 is less than 0.05. So it is less than, that means reject the null hypothesis. And so we reject it. If it was greater than, then it would have been failed to reject. So like all of this will help you in answering the questions because it kind of guides you as you go through. If you have any questions, let me know.